Well, hi there. I just got back last night. Um, had a horrible time with smoke and my allergies. Really bad time. It's like my raw and, and my sinuses were clogged and blah. I was blowing black boogers. There's that much smoke in the air. And being part of the labor crew that El Paso Rock Shop, that that's that's what that's what popping popping out there. I'm really looking forward to plugging in with them uh, like all year. We'll be all over the country with them. Uh, we're starting at uh, Quartzsite on November 20th and uh, moving on to uh, Tucson. Uh, he's, he's setting up in Tucson January 10th, but I'm going to probably want to stay in Quartzsite until after the 20th or 25th and come and plug in Tucson later. When Tucson, Tucson doesn't really get going for my kind of business until until uh, the last few days of January. Well, he does. He's, this guy's bringing trailer loads of uh, decorated minerals and bulk bags of, of all sorts of stuff, like shells and sage and all, all the goodies that people want for their stores. And <laughs> they move a lot of shit. I'm, I'm wore out. I <laughs> just totally wore out. They took it easy on me. I only had to move a few tons of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of that stuff is so big, you can't, you can't move it. You can't move it without without at least the pallet jack. <laughs> anyway, um, the the affair didn't wasn't wasn't ready. <laughs> no, nowhere near ready for either one of us. Um, he had too much work to do on himself, for, and I'd have to make too many concessions on myself to accommodate him. In his healing, and he wasn't ready to give up his healing to me, which is pretty much where it was at. Uh, you know, we got along well, and uh, otherwise, um, he just wasn't ready for me, and I wasn't ready to do what he needed for me to be suitable for him right now. We parted friends. Uh, our our uh, relations were, were very good and uh, affirming for me. Uh, and I hope for him as well, because he hasn't had any in a long time either. Um, and, you know, we, we parted friendly. Uh, I mean, I was hurt by, 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 by something, uh, but, you know, there's no animosity. He just wasn't time for it. And when he decides later he wants to give it a go, I'll probably let him. If it was that good. I mean, I enjoy his company a lot. And, and uh, that's where it's at. And fuck all of you idiots trying to make something else out of it. Fuck all you idiots trying to make me into something I'm not. Because people clearly see that I'm what I am. And you know, you laugh at me, you laugh at me. You know, call me, call me a, a, an anti Semite all you like. You know, excuse me. I, I'm, a, I'm a child of the children of heaven. And that's like, I'm being me. And people are appreciating it, me and bringing out the child of the stars in them. And if you can't handle it, hey, <laughs> stick your face up too much and too rude. You're getting blocked. Click without getting without getting without getting interaction at all. This is this 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 is just a short one to give you a warning that as soon as and I haven't been in the back pub yet. I haven't I haven't put on my girl. I'm still kind of raw from the road. No, I'm a two spirit. I'm not a trans. I'm not transsexual. I'm an intersex person. I'm transgender in, in terms of gender dysphoria. I got the wrong junk from my brain. My brain does not see that junk that way. My brain does not see me as male. It never did. I had. I had to. I had to train myself to behave like a male because my my natural being was to be female, and that's the way it is. I got male junk. <laughs> I learned to deal with it, and and, and I had a very uh, good time with a transgender man who just wasn't quite ready for me, and I wasn't ready to be what he needed me to be. Oops, <laughs> wasn't wasn't the, you know failed. You know we parted friends. You know I took some hurt away because because of 
because of something that you know it was a it was a time thing. You know, I, I have I have I have certain standards of friendship that that require some time investment from the friend that he wasn't willing to give at the moment when I needed it, and that was all that was. Okay, and we got past it. So and this is just a short warning that I'm going to go live later after I after I cleaned up and put on my girl batter. And it can be more convincing as a female person. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I don't own the rights to that. That's a that's a 1972 um, in the background. That's a 1972 uh, um, recording of a concert, live concert by Three Dog Night, right around the time when uh, we flew from. Uh, I was we were on a fishing trip. My brother and me. And my father and his buddy and his buddy's son flew from Chicago to Winnipeg. And then when we flew home, Three Dog Night was on the flight going from a concert up there to a concert in Chicago. And they had to carry my father and his fishing buddy off the plane. They had so much fun. <laughs> they drank them all both under their seats. But anyway, this is a warning that I'm going to go live later after I clean up and uh, just like uh, take what comes. <laughs> I'm going to read the news and, and anybody, you know, anybody being an asshole is just going to get blocked. They're going to report it if you're enough of an asshole. So anyway, thanks for watching. Happy day. Bye.